Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I wonder what your dad's superpower might be. What do you think? I want you to spend some time today thinking about it. If you could also have a superpower, which one would you want to have? Did you know that there are some animals God made with incredible powers that are even cooler than the superpowers we see in movies and books? I'm going to show you three examples. Have you ever wanted to disappear and have the power of invisibility? The cuttlefish is a master of disguise. It can instantly change the color and shape of its skin and disappear by blending into its surroundings. It can even change the shape of its eyes and make its skin flash like different colored lights. Have you ever wanted to be indestructible, meaning you're unable to be destroyed? The tardigrade is an animal that is so tiny that you usually would need a microscope to look at it. Some types of tardigrade can survive boiling water and being frozen in blocks of ice. They can even survive for years without eating food or air to breathe. And finally, can you flex your muscles like you have super strength? This beetle, sometimes called the tumble bug, is the strongest bug on earth. It can pull something that is over 1,000 times heavier than its own weight. If you were that strong, you could carry a school bus filled with people. Where did these uh, uh, animals get incredible abilities? It was God. God is the one with real power and he designed these amazing animals with the ability to do amazing things. God also designed you and gave you the ability to live, move, and do many things. God designed you to be able to enjoy friendship with him in a way that no animal can. He loves people more than anything he created, um, and God is the only one with enough power to do all of these things. He is also the only one with, an, with enough power to rescue you from the problem of sin. We have been learning about how much trouble sin caused the Israelites for when they moved into the Promised Land. God used special heroes called judges to rescue the Israelites from some of their problems. Do you remember some of the amazing things God did? These judges were used to rescue God's people from many problems, but none of them had enough power to rescue the people from sin. Sin is a problem that is too powerful for people to fix on their own. You were born wanting to do things your own way and not really you know, the way God says you know, to do. Um, sometimes you might want to just hurt other people, whether physically or using words. Sometimes you might want to disrespect people in charge of you, um, or sometimes you even tell lies without even meaning to. These sins hurt other people and they hurt you too. The worst way that sin hurts you is by separating you from the friendship God wants you to enjoy with him. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. God designed you in a special way so you can enjoy friendship with him. But your sin keeps you from that friendship and will separate you from him forever. Before you were even born, God sent a real hero with real power to make the way for you to be rescued from sin and have a forever friendship with him. Do you know who that is? It was Jesus, God's own son. He chose to leave heaven and come to earth as a baby. Jesus grew up and lived a perfect life and did many awesome things to show that he has the power of God. Jesus is God. He can control the weather. He has the power to heal any disease and even bring back people from the dead. Most amazing of all, he took your place by being separated from God the Father so you don't have to be. He did this by letting people nail him to the cross to die. While Jesus was on the cross, he let God the Father punish him for your sin. Jesus died and was separated from God for you, but then he came back to life. He is the only one with the real power to do this for you. So because of what Jesus did, you can be completely rescued from your sin. God is so powerful, he gives these animals special abilities like super strength and camouflage, but he wants to use his power to do something even more amazing, something for you. God wants to use his power to make you his child. God, um, this means he will rescue you from your sin so that you can enjoy a close relationship with him right now and forever. He says that um, to be 
So he says that you become his child when you believe on Jesus' name and receive him as your savior. This means that you realize you have sinned and that you know you need Jesus to rescue you from sin's punishment. Will you believe on Jesus today and receive him as your savior? I want you to talk with your parents about this. And if you have any questions, you can always um, ask your parents to email me or Miss Susan, Pastor Q, Pastor Mimi. But most importantly, have a discussion with your parents and ask them to pray for you.